Yeah, the Marlins uh, solidified their fourth outfield spot in a big way by getting a very big name in Nichiro Suzuki. Big pickup for the Marlins, uh, fourth outfielder, lefty bat off the bench. Uh, you know, it, it's more of a pinch hit role and a, you know, substitution type role. Uh, and even though the Marlins have what they feel is the best outfield in the National League, um, guys do get hurt, and all three of those guys did miss time last year with injury. Yelich, Ozuna, and Stanton, of course, they hit in the face in September, missed the final two and a half weeks. So, uh, very good insurance policy to have each row on your bench. In Christian Yelich, Marcelo Ozuna, and Giancarlo Stanton, you have ages 23, 24, and 25, respected, uh, respectively, of all all three of those guys. So, you know, you bring in each row who's 41, who. Uh, has his own style of hitting, obviously, uh, you know, one of the more accomplished hitters of, of this generation. Uh, having his presence, I think, will be a immense help to to those guys looking for approach. I think I'm very curious, since Christian Yelich also is a left-handed hitter, um, what kind of impact each row might have on him. Obviously, you know, the, the swings aren't the same, but, you know, maybe things to look for as a left-handed hitter from certain pitchers or – you know, when you're facing a tough lefty as well. So, uh, again, the presence, um, this guy coming off the bench uh, should be immense. And and even though the deal is one year, I mean, keep in mind, each row is 156 hit shy, hit shy of 3,000 hits and as a big leaguer. Um, there's a chance that he still could sign for 2016. There, You know, even though this deal is a one-year deal, the door, I think there's an understanding between both sides that, you know, each row might be a Marlin pass this year as well, which could keep him, you know, in South Florida and pursue the 3,000 hits.